On to the news tonight, messages of hate sent by the thousands. A notorious hacker admits sending anti-Semitic flyers to colleges and universities across the country, as well as private businesses. And tonight, the hacker himself answered our questions about why he did it. CBS 2's Tom Wade is live at USC with reaction to those hateful messages. Tom? This is the hate flyer that was sent out by this hacker. We're told that he was able to do this with ease, sending it to printers across the country. And now tonight, police are trying to figure out where he is and why he did this. Wow, that's horrible and that's scary. Utter disgust at USC after seeing this flyer. It was blasted out by a notorious hacker. He not only targeted USC, but Cal State Long Beach and thousands of other printers at colleges and private companies across the country. It's just showing his character. Notorious hacker and internet troll Andrew Orenheimer is claiming responsibility for the flyer. We asked him why he would flood printers across the country with one of the most hateful symbols imaginable. He would only respond via Twitter where he says, I sent flyers to all printers accessible on the open internet. Everyone got them, private businesses included. As for why, he says in one tweet, we are undergoing a demographic collapse that will destroy us completely at the hands of Jewish manipulators. We must fight. I feel like even wherever you go, there's there's always someone that has, uh, that has anger built up in them, even sometimes in the educational system. Orenheimer says he did not hack into private networks and claims the printers he used were easily accessed from public portals, meaning he may have not broken any laws at all. Some students say the best way to fight a hateful message like this, win with kindness. Have a flyer that has an inspiring or empowering message. Maybe that would be a good counteraction to that. And we spoke with police here at USC and also at CSU Long Beach. They both say they've shut down the portal at which they got into the computers here, but still they are remaining vigilant to make sure this doesn't happen again. Reporting live here at USC, let's go back to you in the studio.